Have you seen the movie Limitless starring Bradley Cooper where he takes a pill that turns him into a superhuman? Well, some people believe that modafinil can do exactly that for them. Modafinil, also known as Provigil, has gained popularity in recent years among celebrities and entrepreneurs who claim that it helps them stay focused and productive for extended periods of time. But what is modafinil and how does it work? In this video, we will explore everything that you need to know about this smart drug. What is modafinil? Modafinil is a prescription drug that is primarily used to treat narcolepsy, sleep apnea, and shift work sleep disorder. It's a wakefulness promoting agent that helps people to stay awake and alert for long periods of time. Modafinil works by affecting certain chemicals in the brain that control the sleep-wake cycle. It increases the production of dopamine, norepinephrine, and histamine, which are neurotransmitters that regulate wakefulness, attention, and focus. But how does modafinil actually work? Well, let me explain the science behind modafinil. So we know it's a wakeful promoting agent that's used to improve cognitive function, increase alertness, and decrease fatigue. But the exact mechanism of action for modafinil is still not fully understood. Researchers do believe that it works by affecting these neurotransmitters in the brain. One of these neurotransmitters that modafinil affects is dopamine. Now, dopamine is a neurotransmitter that's involved in several important functions in the brain, including motivation, reward, attention, and modafinil has been shown to increase dopamine release in certain areas of the brain, which can improve motivation and attention. Now, modafinil also affects other neurotransmitters like norepinephrine, histamine, and orexin. Norepinephrine is involved in the body's fight or flight response. It can increase the heart rate and blood pressure. Histamine is involved in the sleep-wake cycle, and it can affect wakefulness. Orexin is in a neurotransmitter that's involved in wakefulness and arousal. Now additionally, modafinil has been shown to increase the activity in the prefrontal cortex of the brain, the part of the brain that's involved in decision making, planning, and attention. And it's believed that this increased activity in the prefrontal cortex may be responsible for the cognitive enhancing effects of modafinil. Overall, modafinil is a really complex drug that affects multiple neurotransmitters and brain regions. It is still not fully understood how it works, but its ability to increase dopamine Dopamine release and activity in the prefrontal cortex are thought to be the main mechanisms behind its cognitive enhancing effects. Let's talk about some scientific studies on modafinil. Scientific studies have shown that modafinil can improve cognitive function memory, and learning. In fact, a study published in the Journal of Psychopharmacology found that modafinil improved working memory and attention in healthy adults. Another study published in the Journal of Psychopharmacology found that modafinil improved cognitive function in pilots who were sleep deprived. Now, let's talk about how to actually get your hands on modafinil, because this sounds awesome, the effects are obviously there, and this is a drug that I have tried myself that I do use myself periodically when I really want to get long hours of work in, or maybe I, I had a bad night's sleep, and I just need to be able to get through a really hard day. So modafinil is a prescription drug, which means that you need a doctor's prescription in order to be able to obtain it legally. If you have a condition that requires the use of modafinil, such as narcolepsy, sleep apnea, shift work sleep disorder, your doctor may prescribe it for you. However, some doctors may be hesitant to prescribe modafinil for off-label uses, such as enhancing cognitive function, which is probably what you're watching this video for. Now, if you do want to get modafinil for off-label use, you can try talking to your doctor about it and explaining why you think it would be helpful for you. Alternatively, you can buy modafinil from online pharmacies, but be careful as some of them may want to sell you counterfeit or low quality drugs. I highly advise that you don't do that. What I do advise, and this is what I did, is work with a physician. If you do have the resources to be able to afford a private physician that is more understanding, more modern, and maybe wants to get you off of your existing medications for performance enhancement, such as Adderall or Ritalin, or Vyvanse, you may be able to talk to them about off-label use for modafinil as a replacement for those amphetamine drugs. Now, let's talk about some of the side effects of modafinil. Modafinil is generally safe when used as directed, but like any other medication, it can cause side effects, and the most common side effects of modafinil are headache, nausea, dizziness, dry mouth, and in rare cases, modafinil can also cause more serious side effects, allergic reactions, chest pain, suicidal thoughts, and if you experience any of these things while taking modafinil, absolutely consult your doctor immediately. Now let's dive into the difference between modafinil and other substances that are commonly used to enhance cognitive performance, such as nootropic vitamins and stimulants like Adderall. So nootropics, also known as smart vitamins, are supplements that claim to enhance cognitive function. These includes vitamins like B vitamins, omega-3 fatty acids, 
and other natural compounds and herbs. Now, while these supplements may have some benefits, they are not as powerful as modafinil and definitely not as powerful as amphetamines. Nootropic vitamins may improve mental clarity, but they won't provide the same level of wakefulness and focus as modafinil and Adderall. Now, on the other hand, stimulants like Adderall are prescription drugs used to treat ADHD and narcolepsy. Adderall contains amphetamine and dextroamphetamine, which work by increasing dopamine and norepinephrine levels in the brain. Now, similarly to modafinil, Adderall can increase wakefulness, focus, and productivity. However, Adderall is much more notorious for side effects. You may experience anxiety, insomnia, but mostly addiction. Adderall is very, very addictive, whereas modafinil is not nearly as addictive. Modafinil has a much lower potential for abuse and addiction, making it the safer option. And in my opinion, as a user of both modafinil and Adderall at some point in my life, the dopamine rush that you get from modafinil is much lower than the dopamine rush that you get from Adderall, making it high, much, much less addictive. Now, just a little bit about my personal experience using both of these medications. In my experience, using Adderall from the time that I was in college, pretty regularly, even through medical school, I noticed that it was one, highly addictive, and two, didn't actually improve my performance. It just improved my alertness. So I was able to stay stimulated while studying and reading very unstimulating content, such as neuroanatomy in medical school, stimulated me like this. But with the help of Adderall, I was able to stay stimulated and stay engaged. However, it did not improve my performance. I actually noticed that when I took a test off of the medication, I did better than when I took the test on the medication. Helps you stay alert, but I wouldn't say focused, and it definitely doesn't improve your performance. Modafinil, on the other hand, much less potential for abuse, doesn't feel nearly as good when you take it. So I have been using modafinil and still continue to, say when I have a night where I only get two hours of sleep and I wake up the next day and my brain is just cloudy and not good, modafinil actually gets me back to a good normal state and helps me get through the day. I was lucky enough to be able to find a doctor who was willing to work with me and prescribe me modafinil for off-label use for the cognitive performance benefits. Now, I do not take it every day, only when I'm severely sleep deprived, and it actually has helped me get off of Adderall as well. I do believe, and this is my opinion, not as a medical doctor, but just as a consumer and as a patient, that modafinil is superior to Adderall in its addictiveness. It is much less habit forming, but it does not replace the feeling of being on an amphetamine. So if you're looking to replace that rush, that feeling of stimulation that you get while on your Adderall or your Vyvanse or your Ritalin, Modafinil will not do that to you. In fact, you'll barely even feel it. You'll just feel a underlying level of wakefulness. But if it helps you dial back your amphetamine use, I highly recommend speaking to your physician about it because I do believe it to be a better alternative. Not healthy, but a better alternative. So let's wrap this up. In conclusion, modafinil is a wakefulness promoting agent that can improve cognitive function, memory, and learning. And while it's primarily used to treat sleep disorders, some people use it off-label to enhance their cognitive abilities, just like in Limitless. It's important to note that while modafinil can be beneficial for some. It's not for everyone. People with a history of mental health conditions, high blood pressure, heart disorders should not take modafinil. And it's always best to talk to your doctor before starting any new medication or supplement, including modafinil. If you're interested in learning more about this medication or seeing how it compares to Adderall and nootropics, please check out the other videos on my channel. And you can reference this video when speaking to your medical physician about the potential of using this as a substitute or an alternative for some of your amphetamines. Hope this was helpful. If you're not already subscribed, please do that. It really helps my channel and you'll get much more content just like this provided to you by the YouTube algorithm. So thank you for watching and I'll see you later.